Welcome back to today and spotting a scam used to be pretty simple didn't it but today they are more sophisticated than ever and with rapid advances in artificial intelligence which is very scary in 2024 fraudsters are upping their game. Now to help you stay one step ahead we've got Sujrana from NAB who joins us with the scoop of what to look out for. Suj, artificial intelligence scams really took off this year but are we expecting more in 2024? Yeah, good morning and, and great question, Nick. So the important thing to note here firstly is that these scammers aren't people who are just operating out of a garage or out of a basement. They're actually highly sophisticated multinational organised crime units and they're always looking for new ways to take advantage of customers, leveraging the latest technology and in this case AI. These AI are actually impersonation scams and they're an update of last year's High Mum scam. What's changed is the Hi Mum scam was actually a text message and mm. this has now evolved to become a phone call that a person will receive pretending to be from a family member that's in distress. And they can actually make these phone calls from as little as three seconds of audio that's wow. often obtained from your social media profile or from a voicemail. That is terrifying. It's extraordinary, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. We are seeing these scams already occurring in the US and the UK, but thankfully no NAB customers have yet reported to be impacted by this. But we are expecting over the next few months for this type of scam to head down under. I mean, surely it's going to come here. Absolutely. Mm. absolutely. Isn't it? Imagine what it would be like to get that sort of call from someone who you thought was a loved one. What, what do you do in that mm. situation? Yeah, so it's obviously very distressing. So the important thing to remember here so is if you receive a phone call from someone you know who's in distress or requesting money and it's coming from a number that is unknown or a number that you do not recognize it's important that you hang up and you try and contact them back through a method that you already trust before you transfer any money a lot of these scams actually start with your social media profiles because that's where they actually get the audio content from. Mm. So it's important you review your social media profiles and wherever possible you set them to private or you set them to locked. And lastly, it's always a good idea to set up multi-factor authentication onto your logins for your social media. Just make sure that those scammers can't actually compromise your account in the first case. I have to say, earlier this year I got a text saying, hi mum, I need such and such dollars. And I thought, wow, my three-year-old is very advanced. <laughs> <laughs> um, so sometimes it doesn't work, does it? But no. um, term deposit scams, that's also been a big one and the grown in popularity. Uh, are they taking advantage of this cost of living pressure that we're all seeing at the moment? Yeah, so uh, term deposits is a type of investment scam and they're always amongst the top reported scams by our customers. Uh, in this particular instance, criminals are actually impersonating a financial institution and they're contacting people uh, with a term deposit with a rate that's much better than anything that's on the market. It's often accompanied by marketing material and sometimes can be followed with a phone call. Unfortunately, these are becoming much more popular and they're becoming much more successful because Australians really are starting to feel those cost of living pressures mm. and they're looking for alternate ways to make their money work harder for them. Mm. And, and so it's just in terms of who this is going to affect, I mean, there's so many older Australians, aren't there, who, who don't want to put their money with the insecurity of the share market. Mm. They go to term deposits. Yeah. What red flags should they be looking out for? Yeah, so, so the key red flags to watch out for with this particular scam are actually quite common with other scams, and that is the person who is talking to you will often start with a, uh, a sense of authority and create a sense of urgency to try and get you to transfer that money quickly. Right. They often contact you out of the blue, it's been unsolicited, generally via an email or via a text message, and the product itself has rates that are better than anything that's seen on the market, and those details are often not seen on that financial institution's public website. Uh, it's important to note with these types of scams, it, the old adage always holds true, which is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. is. Oh. Yeah, well, finally, there's going to be lots of big concerts that are happening next year. We've got Taylor Swift, we've got Pink. Uh, just quickly, how can Aussies avoid getting caught up in a, a ticketing scam? Yeah, this is really topical at the moment. We've got the cricket on at the moment and the tennis and, of course, those concerts you mentioned. I actually tried to unsuccessfully buy some tickets for my kids for the Taylor Swift concert and that's actually exactly what the scammers are looking to exploit. They want that to take advantage of that fear of missing out mm. feeling and they often contact you via an online platform or social. So the Tips to really avoid this are, first, try and talk to the seller directly if you can to try and ascertain that it's actually real. Second, often when it comes via social media, try and check the profile. Is the profile newly created? Has it had a lot of activity over the last few days? Are there any reviews you can look at? And lastly, to be extra safe in these particular instances, it's best to buy your tickets from official resellers. 
Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our <laughs> YouTube channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?